Good morning, children. Today I shall take a new poem, a new lesson. And the name of the lesson is The Rebel. It is an amazing and a casual poem. Have you heard the word rebel before? Okay, if not, I shall explain to you. Now, do you know anyone who knows, who always uh, disagrees with you or your friends? Or likes to do the opposite of what everyone thinks they should do? Do you know? Think of a word to describe such a person who always disagrees with what you or your friends like or do. If a person disagrees, if a person always disagrees with you or your friends or he likes to do the opposite of what everyone uh, does, then such a person is called a rebel. Okay, now you get me? So, a rebel is a person who resists any authority. He does not like to be controlled. Okay? A rebel is a person who resists any authority, control or tradition. He or she would rise in opposition against an established government or, uh, or any authority. Understand, he always, he revolts. He opposes to whatever the authority says. So such a person is called a rebel. Now, you, uh, just imagine, you are moving with your friends, you are going for a party and your friends suggest that uh, today we will go in a blue dress. We all will glow, go in blue dress. Immediately, the rebel would say, no, today I prefer to wear black attire. Then after reaching uh, the party, if you wish to go for a um, ball dance, your friend, that is the rebel, would say, no, I would prefer pajama dance. And if you all prefer to have an ice cream, enjoy yourself with an ice cream, he would say, oh, I don't want an ice cream. Rather, I would take hot, a hot cup of tea. So this is what a rebel does. He always opposes to what the people around him say or do. Okay? He does not like to be, as I said, controlled, led forward. Now, let us read this poem. It is a very simple poem. All of you can understand and you can enjoy too. Okay? So here it goes. The Rebel Written by D.J. Enright when everybody has short hair, the rebel lets his hair grow long. When everybody has long hair, the rebel cuts his hair short. When everybody talks during the lesson, the rebel doesn't say a word. When nobody talks during the lesson, the rebel creates a disturbance. So you see, the rebel does always the opposite of what others do. When everybody wears a uniform, the rebel dresses in fantastic clothes. When everybody wears fantastic clothes, the rebel dresses soberly. Soberly means plainly. 
In the company of dog lovers, the rebel expresses a preference for cats. <coughs> if there are dog lovers around, the rebel would say, Oh no, I don't like dogs. I like cats and kittens. Okay? In the company of cat lovers, the rebel puts in a good word for dogs. Puts in a good word for dogs. That means the rebels, the rebel praises the dogs. When everybody loves cat, the rebel says, Oh no, I don't like cats. He praises dogs. So puts in a good word means he praises. He tells something good about the dogs. When everybody is praising the sun, the rebel remarks on the need for rain. If everybody says, oh, what a sunny day it is. Come on, let us go out. It's looking so nice. Immediately the rebel would say, oh, horrible. If only it rains. Just imagine. He would say, oh, if only it rains. I would prefer rain to, to, uh, to sun. Understand? When everybody is greeting the rain, the rebel regrets the absence of sun. Regrets. Regrets means he says, oh no, why this sun? If only it rains. When everybody goes to the meeting, the rebel stays at home and reads a book. When everybody stays at home and reads a book, the rebel goes to the meeting. When everybody says, yes please, the rebel says, no, thank you. When everybody says, no, thank you, the rebel says, yes please. It is very good that we have rebels. You may not find it very good to be one. See, that's a sarcastic statement at the end. It is very good that we have rebels. To have rebels around you is very good. It's enjoyable. Okay? But to be one, it's not very good. It is annoying to others. Understand? They will not like your company. So you will be left all alone. So it is not good to be a rebel. While it is very good that we have rebels around us. We can oppose them. We can enjoy their behavior, their odd behavior. Understand? Did you all like this poem children? So you read at home. If there is any doubt, I will clarify it in the class. And I will make you re recite this poem. Okay, so see you then. Bye-bye.